Hi students, Professor Nugent here. In this video, we're going to talk about asymptotic efficiency. OLS, asym OLS estimators are asymptotically efficient among a certain class of estimators under the Gauss-Markov assumptions. Let's consider the simple regression case and show this. So the simple regression case is that y equals beta naught plus beta one times x plus u, where we have our zero conditional mean assumption, the expected value of u given x is equal to zero. There exists a variety of consistent estimators for beta one. Let g of x be any function of x. For example, g of x equals x squared, any function of x. Then the error is uncorrelated with g of x by virtue of our zero conditional mean assumption. Let z of i equals g of x of i. Then beta 1 tilde, the expression, this expression for beta 1 tilde, which is the sum from i equals 1 to n, uh, z i minus z bar times y i all over the sum from i equals 1 to n of z i minus z bar times x i is a consistent estimator given x and g of x are correlated. And we have to make this condition, recall that correlation is a linear characteristic. And so there could be some sort of nonlinear relationship there that correlation does not pick up. So we are assuming that these things are correlated then we can write, just leave this here at the bottom for reference for now. We can plug in for y as we have done before. Beta one tilde is equal to beta one plus n to the negative 1 over n to the negative 1 times the sum from i equals 1 to n z i minus z bar times a u i all over sum from i equals 1 to n z i minus z bar x i. I skipped some steps. To see what steps I skipped, please go back to the video where we derived the consistency. We proved that OLS is consistent, and you will see which skip steps I skipped. All right, so we can next apply the law of large numbers so that we can write the plim beta 1 hat is equal to beta 1 plus the covariance between z and u over covariance z x. And because the covariance between z and u is equal to zero, that is zero, this whole term is zero, and the plim, oops, that's a tilde, plim tilde, beta one, beta one tilde is equal to beta one, okay? So what we've shown is that this is a consistent estimator. All right, now we have some more work to do because we're trying to show that OLS is asymptotically efficient. The square root of n of beta one tilde minus beta one, this thing is asymptotically normal with a mean of zero and this variance, sigma squared variance of z all over covariance between z and x 
squared. Okay. And the asymptotic covariance of the OLS estimator is similar except for the case that z is equal to x. Right? For OLS, z equals x. So that the square root of n of beta 1 hat minus beta 1 is normally distributed 0. And you have then sigma squared over variance of x. Right? Because that would be sigma squared over variance of x over variance of x squared. Because the covariance between x and x is the variance of x. So you'd have the variance of x squared. And those two variances cancel out. Now, the Cauchy-Schwartz inequality this thing requires that the covariance of two variables be bounded by the product of their standard deviations. Okay, so this implies this implies that the covariance between x and z is less than or equal to the standard deviation of x times the standard deviation of z and the covariance between x and z squared less than or equal to standard deviation of x, standard deviation of z squared, which is equal to variance x, variance z. Now we can take this inequality and substitute this into the asymptotic variances. So this implies that the sigma squared variance of z over cov x z squared. So this is the asymptotic variance for beta 1 tilde. This is greater than or equal to sigma squared. Variance of z all over variance of x, variance of z. That cancels out. That's equal to sigma squared over variance of x. And we have shown that any other, we have shown that any other class, any other estimator in the class of Let's see, bias, unbiased estimators, OLS is the most efficient, okay, because it has the smallest variance. Good. And let's conclude with a theorem. Under the Gauss Markov assumptions, we're going to let beta j tilde denote estimators that solve the equations of the form sum from i equals 1 to n g sub j 
of xi with the x are all explanatory variables. This is consider that to be like a matrix times yi minus beta naught tilde minus beta 1 x1i all the way through. We got tilde beta k tilde xki. is equal to zero for j equal to zero through k where g i that's j g of j x i is any function of the explanatory variables for observation i And we can let beta j hat, as usual, denote the OLS estimator. All right. Then, here is the mock, the, the mic drop point for j equals 0, 1 through k, OLS estimators have the smallest asymptotic variances. And that is to say that AVAR, asymptotic variance, of the square root of beta j tilde minus beta j is going to be greater than or equal to a v a r uh, square root of n beta j hat minus beta j. So as we just showed in our proof a few minutes ago, the OLS estimators are going to have the smallest asymptotic variances of any other estimators among its class. So they are asymptotically efficient.